And we're back on Saturday morning sports talk with Kevin. I'm guessing there's an actual rule on that. Yeah, I'm, what I'm asking. Just want to remind our listeners that Shelby Saturday morning heating and air. sport, uh, Saturday yeah. morning sports talk brought to you by Shelby Heating and Air. Give them a call 704-487-7877. Once again, that's Shelby Heating and Air. Check them out online, ShelbyHeating.com. Kevin. All right, all right. Let's uh, do a little bit of tennis. Uh, JP yes. uh, Djokovic has been barred from the U.S. Open. Did you know this? No, I did not. Do you know why? I'm going to be very happy when I hear it, probably. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only way he's barred. Because he's not vaccinated. vaccinated. Oh, how interesting. If Djokovic took a plane to Mexico and came through the southern border, he would be allowed to play in the tournament. But if he takes an official flight into the country, Tom, he's not allowed to play in the tournament. So hmm. why didn't he just fly into Mexico? He got money. Should he not do that? Should he not just make a big publicity stunt, fly to Mexico, and try to walk through the freaking southern border where they do will let him walk through and then play in the U.S. Open? But that's, the, again, uh-huh. this is a game where you're standing by yourself 50 feet from someone in a country who lets thousands of people in uh, in daily, but this guy can't come play in a tennis tournament. It's a bit silly. So what's but, your point? You know, my point is that I was just telling the news. And yeah, no, I'm just saying. <laughs> it's, it, well, you got on last week with your Wimbledon take. And <laughs> Djokovic is the, hey. is the <laughs> king of Wimbledon, it looks like. Yeah, right. They're about to put a crown on him and... and <laughs> Never JP, happen. it's a fact. Okay? <laughs> I don't care if it's a fact. <laughs> I, I know you're like the majority of Americans. Federer so has still tell them, has the most care. Wimbledon they championships of all time. Have to bow down to King Dorkovich. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> when I die, probably. Well, but well. again, so the the Wimbledon winner and uh, well is is not supposed to be allowed uh, into uh, the country, our country, to. Uh, to play in the U.S. Tennis Open. Is got it, rules that are don't they play that in New York? Yeah. yeah. I think that's a New York rule. I don't think it's a U.S. rule. I think right. it's a New York rule. Yeah. New There's York. a problem. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I will say this. I respect, you know, everybody talks about states' rights until they don't like what a state does. If it's a state's right, it's a state's right. I mean, you know, just tell them to get over it. Go get your shot. You don't want to do it. You don't want to do it. That's your choice. You know? I think the point they're trying to make, Tom, is on this one, it's the fact of what I just said at the start, is that he could probably sneak into Mexico, claim as a Czechoslovakian uh, or East German refugee, and then be allowed to play in the tournament without being checked without for COVID. There's a problem with that. Those countries don't exist anymore. <laughs> I know, Tom. Hey, have fun. <laughs> Have fun in your Our life. Our president wouldn't know that. He'd let him in. <laughs> Unreal. <laughs> I mean, I you know, you, you got rules, and uh, New York's put their rules out there. I mean, it goes back to Kansas City going to Toronto where 10 players from Kansas City couldn't go over there on county they wasn't vaccinated. You know, that's the rule. That's the rule. You got to go by it, and, and Djokovic's right. got to go by it. It's the sovereignty yeah. of the state or the nation. Well, again, Therefore, you guys, you, know. you guys are making a different point. Is that the the, the Djokovic fans and everything is talking about the hypocrisy of the situation? Is that is that if if it's under different rules or different things, not everybody could come in. Uh, Wimbledon uh, banned Russians from their tournament, and a Russian won who had moved to a different country and won the tournament. So they did their best to keep Russians from from being in their tournament, and then a Russian won the tournament. So good job. Um, uh, for for them, the, the women's side, uh, Tom, not office, not, not yeah, not Djokovic. Yeah, I, I, you know, I, I just I just think that, you know, places have rules and individuals make choices. And he made a choice, and I respect his choice. You can't play, you can't play. It's not really going to tarnish his legacy. Not, he no, is the not, greatest not. Wimbledon champion ever. <laughs> no, so he's not. You're not gonna, he no, he's be. not. Yeah, he is. No, yeah, he's he is. Not. It's called a fact. He's not. <laughs> I'm sorry. No. I tell you what, it's hard. It's hard to reason with the insane. This is a. I'm not being insane. It's the insane. Federer has more championships than anybody else. I said Wimbledon. Wimbledon. Yeah. Yeah. He has more trophies than Djokovic. But Djokovic will surpass him. 
I doubt that. <laughs> he's got to like win one more. And he's a okay, JP. I can't wait. I hope I hope we're all still here together when it happens. I He'll mean, they don't have to be consecutive so. wins. <laughs> yeah, he's going to call in sick that day. He's not going to show up. Probably not. But individual makes a choice. A choice has consequences. Just live with it. Let's move on. I, I don't know why I get so much media attention. He said, no, I don't want to do it. It's my choice. It's his choice. Choices have consequences. I, what else are we talking about? It's dumb. <laughs> this, uh, it's dumb. One of his people says uh, he had to be kept away from Australia, not because he can affect other people, because he's a visible reminder of the vaccine failure. Their government was terrified of the twice-infected but unvaccinated jokers could showcase his athletic prowess on a pitch for a record-breaking 21st major triumph. JP, did you hear that record-breaking? Totally, totally unbiased statement there, right? <laughs> and in totally. the steady escalation of the COVID terror, sure. that's from one of his people. Yeah, uh, it sounds it sounds responding like that. back to uh, the U.S. Open folks. So there you go. Over sensationalized crap. That's just it. Just gets on my nerves. Well, what? So what is their actual rule? Uh, as far as as far as people can play in it, but not foreigners can play in it. That's unvaccinated. You don't have to be vaccinated to play it. Kyrie Kyrie got to play in New York. So what's the actual rule? I I don't know. I mean, I I don't like. I said every state's. When you have federalism, states are going to have different rules. So, I mean, you know, if this was, if this tournament was in, in South Carolina, I'm sure he'd be welcome to play. I mean, it's just, it is what it is. Why does it have to be in New York? Every other, like, open moves around and stuff. I don't think so. Does it? I know it doesn't golf. Yeah. The British Open that, you know, you, that you called last week moves it is around. The moves, moves, moves Let's around. not do that again. It's the British <laughs> Open. But anyway, uh, I, I don't know why they, they – uh, I think it's in Flushing, New York. Is that right, JP? Uh, yes, okay. Flushing, Maine. So, yeah. So, I mean, you know, they always, they've they always played there. And I'm not even a tennis person. I know okay. that. They played it. They Tom, played it there. isn't a New York thing. The United States requires non-citizens to be fully vaccinated against COVID to enter the country. Okay. So it's a it's a federal law. So again, so he couldn't play in South again, Carolina. Again, he could he could he could play if he come in the southern border. I knew New York had more stringent rules. That's it, it has, a, it this has nothing to do with this is a U.S. This is a U.S. rule it, that requires non citizens to be fully vaccinated against COVID to enter the country legally. So again, Djokovic sneak in and enter the tournament. How would they know? How would they know? Sneak in. <laughs> It would kind of be hard for Djokovic <laughs> to, sneak to get in. him a <laughs> sneak in, change his name a little bit, but, and give him a mustache or something. <laughs> no, what I'm saying, he could, uh, he sneak. Yeah, be you're great. Talking, you're talking about the uh, six five Serbian sneaking yeah. across the border. Let me notice, Tom, with the tennis racket on his back. I just, I, I don't know. I'm tired of politics and sports. It's, it's ridiculous. This is this is ridiculous. The fact both. that it's still a U.S. Uh, again, I could give you the New York rule and their BS, whatever on that. But this being a U.S. rule that you can't if you enter the country, knowing that thousands enter without being checked every day, every day. But this one guy can't. They know this one guy can't. They, they this tennis player would talk. If he comes to this country, the whole thing would just melt. It's like one locust. Ain't that right, JP? You saw the Jurassic World. Djokovic is a locust. The other, the other yeah. side, the other, the other <laughs> side of the coin is. <laughs> millions upon millions among millions among millions of people have had this. Just just take the stupid thing. You're making your political statement. I understand the political statement is I don't want to do something against my Wait, will. You think he's I doing it, it for political reasons or because he don't want to put something in his body? He's an athlete, Tom. That's a totally different. Give, give me a break. <laughs> give me a break for that. Which That's political not, statement is he making then? Give me a break. Whatever. Is he supporting the president? He's that, making a political statement. The, he's making needle, a political or is he, statement. Or is he, making, is he supporting the one that's, you can't, that's you using can't, it now that's got, who's got it four make times? Me, you can't make me do anything I don't want. Everybody knows it doesn't prevent it uh, 100%. Everybody right. Knows so it. why should he have to take it to enter the country then? Well, because they feel <laughs> that it mitigates. I mean, it's a, it's a mitigation. Just like a seatbelt does not prevent auto accidents, it mitigates it. I mean, it's the same thing. If he doesn't believe that, that's fine. But I just think that. The you're making your statement, you know, and I know he's going to say, I'm an athlete, blah, 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 whatever. I mean, it's just, it's just everything these athletes do to me seems to be political. They have a platform, so they, they want to get political and it just gets on my nerves. I mean, it's just, but he can do what he wants. I don't, like, like I said, I'm, I'm not going to be like these people. Oh, he's an idiot. for No, no, no it's his choice. He can do what he wants. It's his choice 
If he chooses not to, then it's what he chooses not to. But if you choose not to, then these are our rules. Live with it. Let's move on. Let's talk about something else. I'm tired of talking about this guy. Got something else to talk about? <laughs> we'll be back in a few minutes. Get All right. <laughs> Family owned and operated, proudly serving Shelby and the surrounding area with the finest in heating and cooling for your home or business. We're talking about Shelby Heating and Air. And right now, they have an exclusive spring special on Carrier, Goodman, and Mitsubishi systems. Get exclusive Shelby Heated and Air discounts of up to $750. Yes, discounts on quality heating and cooling systems of up to $750. Online at shelbyheating.com. See their page at what's up 